How are you doing, sir? I'm Officer McGurk, Lakeland Police Department. What brings you over here to the shelter today? I'm helping my husband. You're not walking in. I don't know what you're doing. Wait, what's that, right? You have your medical papers to the hospital? I'm an Uber. I'm helping this man get into this. You're an Uber? I'm an Uber. I'm helping who, this man. Who paid, who paid for the Uber? This guy, he this, uh, came from another uh, mental health facility in North Tampa. Uh, told Tampa, 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 Tampa. Tampa. Driver. So, I'm, I'm helping this man so he came from what hospital? Uh, the Tampa. Um, what? Tampa General? Ta no. no. They just dropped him off? Oh, right here. More stuff right here. Okay. He has right bag? Yeah, yeah, right here. Right here. Oh, okay. Sir, what's what's your name? Bruce. Bruce? Bruce, do you have ID at all? Identification at all? Yeah. Inside your stuff? Okay, did you come here on your own volition? Yes. They wanted you said you wanted them to Uber you to here? No. Okay. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Okay, so they just basically said we have some place for you to go. And they, they don't call or anything. They just okay. drop it off and we have no to figure it out from there. Okay, so did you so you did not specifically request to come to the shelter? No. Okay. Did they take you against your will or did you willingly go with them? Well, I didn't hit nobody or... Right, but did, did you want them to displace you from where you were? No, I did not. Okay. Sir, who who paid for the Uber itself? The hospital? Uh, yeah, I, um, it's right here. My last trip. I'm gonna say exactly the address and all. It's the Uber. Do you have any contact information for those individuals? Um, let's see. Uber. Earnings trips. Earnings trips. Let's see what trips I do. Pickup was right here. Was in Western Chapel, State Road 56, Western Chapel. Um, what's the name of that place? It was like a where I pulled up. I seen it said uh, mental. It said mental health. It was, it was like, like a mental health ward. It was a mental health ward, yeah, like a mental health hospital. Did you speak with anyone about the Uber or just? Um, yeah, a uh, uh, nurse came out and helped him out of the wheelchair. Helped put his wheelchair in the back. Helped me get him in the car to the park. Get him in the car. Can't walk. Put him in the car. And did the nurse say anything to you specifically? No, she was like, have a good day or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Do you have any identification on you, sir? Yeah. Just so I can document it, I spoke with you about it. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you're aware, it just seems to be a common tactic for the hospitals. Um, I, know I would be very careful when you're doing picking up people from the hospital in the future okay. and make sure that the individual you're transporting wants to go wherever you're taking them uh, because he yeah he, i'll talk to him on the way here he's like i don't know where i'm going he doesn't know where he's going he's right like, so pot from. so potentially it could it could be construed as kidnapping okay if he's not willing to go someplace yeah. and he's of sound mind and they're shipping him somewhere yeah. and you're transporting him no, and he I, doesn't want to go i was asking him i said man well, i said where are you from he said i'm from coco or something like that coco beach yeah he said i'm from coco i'm like man he's far away like three hours away i said well i'm like you go to Lakeland, I said, I used to live in Lakeland, man. Do you have a contact information for the, the hospital, for the person that Ubered you? Did they give you any kind of phone number or contact information? Uh, no, I just, it's just like when Uber pop up, they just flash, and I just accepted it. It was just a pickup. I just heard it, picked them up, and I brought them here. Brought them here. Okay. So you don't work for the hospital? No, I work for Have you ever done this before for a hospital? No, it's my first time. Okay. All right, sir. Um, you're good to go. Make sure you are verifying that information before you transport people right. because it could it potentially could be kidnapping. He doesn't want to be in your car and you're moving him from one place to another place. Right. Okay. Um, we'll try and take care of him at this point because I doubt the hospital is going to pay to Uber him back. But, um, do you remember the nurse's information at all? She give you any info? Uh, yeah, just... I didn't talk to her. I just really helped her like, help get him inside the car. That's it. I didn't okay, she that. wheeled him out, put him in the car. She he said, out, put him in the he car, said, right? I don't know where I'm going or what's going on. Nah, he was just. Just, just normal. He was just. I thought. I thought. I didn't know I was coming. I thought I was taking him home. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking in my head. Okay, I'll pick him up, take him home, do the Take him home. I'm taking him home. But then when I seen him in Lake, I'm like, I'm like, bro, well, you live in Lake? He's like, no, I'm from Cocoa Beach. I said, what you going? He said, I don't know where they're sending me. So I don't know. Okay. Seven seven. All right, sir. I appreciate. It. Uh, can I get a phone number for you real quick? Yeah, eight six three mm -hmm. two two zero four four eight one. Thank you much. All Appreciate right. you.
All right. Here we are, same situation again. Uh, sir, let me get your information, Mr. Bruce, right? My wallet's in there. I got an ID. You have a wallet? Can you grab it for me? I'm going to get Tim. I have a wallet in there. You have a wallet in here? You can get it out there. Pull that. A little bug out. I'll hold it for you. This is becoming more. We're, we, yeah, this is why that program needs to happen. Yeah, I agree. Divided a white man and a white van. It's not your fault, sir. Medication. Did they, did they? I'm sorry. I could just get your information from you. What's your last name? Cass P. Can you spell for me? C H A S T E E M. Yes, I do. And Mr. Chastine, what's your date of birth? 1863. Do you have a good phone number at all? Uh, that, my phone's probably dead. I've been in the Did they contact you at the mall, or they literally just pulled up and yeah, they just. Yeah, they lied to me. Was, uh, they lied to you? Specialist they, they were expecting me, and, uh, and I get here, and I'm like, this is the first come, first serve. Yeah. And I've got to have needs. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Real. What were you at the hospital in Tampa for, sir? Oh, oh God, we gotta go all there. Just a brief synopsis. Was it mental illness related? Because nobody, I guess, because nobody where I was lived, I mean, I lived three hours away. Okay. Uh, West, where, where are you from? There? Cocoa Beach? Yeah. Yeah? That's the driver's side. Cocoa. Where did you end up? Where did you end up? Uh, have you been homeless for while you were in Cocoa Beach as well? No. No? Do you have a residence? No. Okay, so where, where, where were you staying in Cocoa Beach? I was, I was in a residence. In, in Cocoa, not Cocoa Beach. Okay, in Cocoa. Cocoa. Yeah. That's, my room was rented out. I was in the hospital for three or four months. So I lost my place. They're not out here yet. They're not out here yet. Okay, so you're in the hospital for three or four months. What kind of, what, which hospital was it? Sea Pines Rehabilitation Center. And you have, do you have any family or friends or anyone in the area that can lodge you? I've already tried every damn thing. Okay. You know, all my family's passed away. Okay. I'm the last sibling. I don't like it. If you had the ability to leave, where would you be going? <laughs> I don't know how I guess. I don't know. Where? Probably a couple of months. I don't know. Okay, so you don't Freeze know. Freeze to death. But would you go? Where? If you had transportation to go, or you prefer to stay in a shelter? No, I don't want to be here. I wasn't supposed to. No. Did you tell the hospital that you did not want to go to this location? They knew that. Okay. So you told them that you did not want to come here? Yeah. The nurse that tried to, I mean, nurse case worker or whatever, they're trying to get me a place to live. Uh, they had a couple places and nobody would accept me because wheelchair, I guess. I don't know. Okay. What's wrong with your, your knees? Are you able to walk at all or no. are you completely disabled? I mean, I could stand up. I might maneuver. Maneuver, but I can't stand more than five seconds. Do you remember the name of any nurse or anyone that you spoke with at the hospital before coming here? Shy. What is it? Shy. Shy? Shy, 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 shy. She spoke with all the paperwork. The medical paperwork is here. Yeah, okay. let me see if I can work. Do you mind if I take a look at your medical paperwork? Oh, you can have it, too. Okay. <laughs> Just stand by one second.
Okay, so you have no way to get back to the hospital on your own? Nope. Okay. That's what they rely on. Drop you off and shoot you like shit. All right. Uh, Tabitha House will be able to provide you with a little bit of assistance for temporarily, but you're going to have to start thinking about ways and other places to stay. here. Can I go to the hospital? You want to go back to the hospital? Not back to that one. I want a real hospital. I'm in deep pain now. You're in pain? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you want an ambulance? I don't care how I get there. Okay. Well, I can get you to Lakeland Regional Health Hospital if you are having pain and need assistance. <laughs> Yes. Is that what you'd like? Please, yes. I need medical treatment. I need... Okay. 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 You have 1071.55 reference complaint of pain on almost an individual shelf. <laughs> Alright, we got one coming. I'm going to give a call. Okay. I don't...